My angel is Matthew McConaughey. He's what came into me, which was awesome. And I had no intention of writing the book. Hold on, hold on. What does that mean? <laughs> Your angel oh, is Matthew. Know. I mean, I know you interviewed him for his book and stuff. How is Matthew McConaughey your angel? Matt, this is this. We do hard things. Just took a serious turn. I love it. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Kira Polson, who now I'm a business partner with and launched a publishing company together. And I met her at an event in Arizona and she's a book medium. So she helps right. channel your books. You connect to God, you pray together, you call in your angels. So uh, I don't have her written down anymore. She like gave me this power or this, this printout where like step one is you, you have some kind of scent, some kind of smell. And she gave it to me like this orange thing. Step two is you, you imagine that you're being cleansed and that you like white light is going all over you. Yeah. You want to, you want to jump in? Look like you want to say something. No, you just, I'm, I'm, in. Okay, I'm cool. just like, I'm on along for the ride. So I'm, I'm along for the ride. This is it. Like, I don't do this normally, but I'm along for the ride. Now, now because we're doing an Instagram live, like bless my mouth so I can speak truth. Cool. So I'm imagining the white light coming on my mouth so I can speak truth. Awesome. Next, you're going to call in your angels. So she believes that like there's angels who protect you and guide you. And this is part of her process. So like, okay, call in your angels. Like, okay, I'm going to call in my angels. And for her, it's like Joan of Arc and whoever. And uh, Matthew McConaughey comes to mind for me. I don't know. It's like, who's coming to mind for you? Matthew McConaughey. All right, cool. Trust in the process. So go with Matthew McConaughey. And okay, Matthew wants you to write a book. Okay, at this time, I have no intention to write a book. Like, Built to Serve is my book. My agent wants me to have a new book. Like, my agent's going to be pissed if I'm not writing a new book. I've asked you behind the scenes for like, for like years, like, what's the next book? What's the next book? What's the next thing? And you're like, I just built to serve is it. I love it. Like, built to serve is the book. Yeah, built to serve is the book. So I had no intention of writing the book, zero. But I loved Kira's energy. I wanted to bring her on to the show and let her at least show what she did. And I didn't think I'd have a book by the end of it. But then she's like, okay, Matthew's whispering to you. I forget exactly. You can go watch the video. But, you know, Matthew's telling me the name of the book. And he's like, momentum. Why momentum? Back to your question. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I'm not overthinking it. I'm just, this is how you create speed. Like when you overthink it, then nothing happens. Why Matthew McConaughey? Why momentum? I have no idea. But that's what came through. So he said, okay, I'm going to follow this. Now with a book like Momentum, like my first book, Year One Word, took me a year to write. Momentum I wrote in five days. And she asked me, you know, when are you going to start writing this book? Like, well, it's called Momentum. What, when am I? Like, I can't say I'm going to start writing this. Yeah, in a uh, year. I'll, I'll start. <laughs> Right. That's the kind of answer. So I guess I have to start today. And she initially challenged me to write it in eight weeks. Why eight weeks? I don't know. That's what came to mind. Cool. But I wrote it in five days and we had it published in eight weeks with all the graphics and color and like art and cover design and copy editing and all that, which is an insane timeline, but it was up in eight weeks. And a lot of the, like I had no script. I just started writing, Mark. Like it was an Instagram live. We finished and I just started writing whatever came to my mind. Like we have all of these voices say we can't do it. And I outlined some of them at the beginning of the book of all the reasons why I can't write a book. Cool. I'm going to go do it. And then, and then stuff happens. Life happens, you know? And how do you then show up? Like if you're going to stop something, you have to be proud of the reason why. I don't know if that evanism is in the book. It might be. If you're not going to follow through on something, you have to be proud of the reason why. If you're digging the conversation I'm having with my friend, Evan Carmichael, you have got to hear the whole talk. Click on the link right over there to hear the whole conversation.